Hello YouTuber, cut the front grill for the garden tractor. This is the size we got, 13 and a half by 9. Uh, we're kind of oversized so we don't make a mistake. See how easy it is to cut between these holes? Okay, now look how far you got to cut between these holes. That's called the offset, if you look at the pattern. When you order this stuff, they have a diagram in it. So what the offset or what it is, it's called something like the word offset. Just thought I'd show you that. It, it's kind of odd, but if you really do the math, you'll figure out why it's that way. It's how the rows are staggered on the circles. I just hope it lines up good where we don't like have half a hole over here. And then the other side of the grill we don't. And we went from the factory edge because we had to have something straight to go by. That's a factory edge. That's not a factory edge. So we determined that that is it. We did it twice with a piece of cardboard. So we're going to go outside and cut this with a thin cutter disc and a four and a half inch grinder. And we're going to do it really slow so we don't snag and bend and twist something. This stuff's only about 70,000 thick. 65 to 70,000. Off to do that, then we'll go show you how it fits down in the tractor. Okay, this is the best I can get the holes lined up. See the pattern how it goes up? See, you got a hole there, and then you're just cutting the top off. See that? You got a hole there, and just cut the top off. Good on the bottom. And I had to fidget it quite, probably half a dozen times to get that. So the bolts are still in, shiny or black. Like I said, I can paint the backside. I probably will paint the backside black, so it doesn't show dirt and stuff over the years. But we have the headlights. Now, to remember how I put this in, I might have to put a mark around the bolt holes. We'll show you the inside. We only got three studs to hold this because we didn't want to weld another one in there. But we'll go to the inside and show you where how we got it set in there. Can you see how it's offset? Kind of more way, more one way than the other. But it still covers the hole. It just barely covers in that corner. See that? So we have two studs at the bottom. Or it goes over a hole and only one at the top. We'll put big washers on there. But we won't put a big enough washer to where you can see it overlap through the hole. We're going to mark that somehow. We'll take a punch or something and mark at least that hole and this hole. So no matter what we do to paint it, we'll be able to line it up. So there you go. That's it for this video. We're still deciding on what it's going to be, shiny or black. 